we have discussed some problems in our previous class today also we are discussing exercise 2.2 question some questions okay question number 8 three consecutive integers are such that when they are taken in increasing order and multiplied by 2 3 and 4 respectively they add up to 74 find these numbers so three consecutive integers are we can take three consecutive integers is equal to if first one it is x means the next is consecutive integers means it's continuous numbers only so next one x plus one then third one x plus two these are the three consecutive integers okay then what what is given after that and uh, in increasing order and multiplied by 2, 3, 4. How now? See, so first uh, integer it is x. Multiplied by 2 means 2 into x, that means uh, 2x. Okay. Second integer it is x plus 1, right? Multiplied by 3, that means uh, 3 into x plus 1. How we can multiply 3 into x plus 1? Apply distributive property, do you remember? a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c okay so like that 3 into x that means 3x plus 3 into 1 it is 3 3x plus 3 okay next third integer it is x plus 2 that multiplied by 4 so 4 into x plus 2 here also apply distributive property a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. So like that 4 into x means 4x plus 4 into 2 means it is 8. Okay. So we got a first integer it is 2x and next one it is 3x plus 3. Third one it is 4x plus 8. It's a sum how much it is given that sum is it is 74. Okay. Sum is equal to 74. Now we know how to add it. We can add the same variable 2x, 3x, 4x. We can add it now. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 4, 9x plus. Now we can add a constant. 3 plus 8. 3 plus 8. It is 11. Is equal to 74. It is a linear equation now. Now we know how to solve this linear equations. So 9x equal to right side 74 it is the this is uh, plus 11 shift the right side it will become subtract minus 11 okay 74 minus 11 it is equal to 63 okay so 9x equal to 63 so x equal to 9x means 9 into x no? so shift the 9 right side by it is multiplication it will become division so 63 is the 63 divided by 9 how much 63 divided by 9 it is 7 Okay, so x will be equal to 7. What is our question? What are 3 integers? Okay, 3 integers actually we have taken already x, x plus 1, x plus 2. These are our 3 integers now. Now substitute the value because x will be equal to 7. First integer it is 7. Second one 7 plus 1 means it is 8. Third one 7 plus 2 means it is 10. So these are the 3 integers. Okay, next question. Question number 11. Baijun's father is 26 years younger than Baijun's grandfather and 29 years older than Baijun. Sum of the ages of all these three it is 135. What is the age of each one of them? Okay. So we can take, actually uh, we can take let Baijun's age. By two stage and one factor, it is equal to x. Okay. So after that, we can take what is his father's stage? By two's father is twenty nine years older than by two. Okay. By two's father is twenty nine twenty nine years older than by two. So by two actually x twenty nine years older than means x plus twenty nine. So his father's age is x plus 20. After that, we, we can find the grandfather's age. Grandfather's age is equal to how father is 26 years younger than by just grandfather means we can take grandfather's age, which is 
H plus 29 by 2 to father's age. Younger than him means here we can add 26 plus 26. Okay. So, grandfather's age it is X plus 29. Grandfather's age it is X plus 29 plus 26. That 29 plus 26 we can add it. It is 45. Okay. X plus 45. After that, what is given? Sum of the ages of all the three is 135. Sum of the ages of all the three. By June first step, then X plus 29 father's age, then uh, grandfather's age, X plus 55. Sum of these ages, it is 135. Okay, see, after that, we know how to add it. See, so x plus x plus x. How much x means? 1x, 1x, 1x. It is 3x. 3x plus 29 plus 55. It is 84. Is equal to 135. Look at linear equation. We know how to solve it. 3x equal to 135 right side. 84 shift right side. What shifting? Addition will become subtraction. Subtract will be equal. Okay. So, 135 minus 84, it is equal to 51. 3, 3 into x equal to 51. So, x equal to 51. Multiplication will become division. 51 by 3, it is equal to 17. So, we got x equal to 17. Now, we can find easily by two sage, father sage and his grandfather sage. By two sage equal to x now. X means what? It is 17. So, 17 is solved. What about to father sage? It is x plus 29 now. So, it is 17 plus x means 17. 17 plus 29, it is equal to 46. Okay. Grandfather's age equal to x plus 55 now. x means substitute to the value. x means 17. 17 plus 55, that is equal to 72 years old. Okay. Next question number 12. 15 years from now, Revi's age will be 4 times his percentage. What is Revi's percentage? Okay. So, we can take Revi's percentage equal to Revi's percentage equal to X. Okay. After that, given that 15 years from now, that means that for 15 years later, 15 years later, Revi's age it is x plus 15. Is it okay? 15 years later, his age it is x plus 15. Okay. So, after that, given that 15 years from now, Revi's age will be 4 times his percentage. Okay. So, that sentence we can convert it as equation. 15 years from Revi's age, it means it is x plus 15. It is also equal to 4 times his percentage. His percentage x, 4 times his percentage means it is 4 into x. Okay. Now we know how to solve it. Ready? So x plus 15 equal to 4x. 4x is shift to left side because we needed to find the value of x. So 4x keep a left side. 4x while it become it is minus 4x is equal to plus 15 shift to right side. It is Minus 15. Okay. So, x minus 4x how much? x means 1x. 1 minus 4, it is minus 3x. Minus 3x equal to minus 15. Therefore, x equal to negative cancel that. Okay. x equal to 15. It is 3 into. So, it will become division. 15 by 3, it is 5. x equal to 5. x means the uh, percentage is equal to 5. What is the question? What is the percentage? It is x. Okay, that means 5. 5 years old. Okay.